This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Jack Threads. With Windows 7 and Server 2000 AR2, PowerShell has opened so many awesome possibilities for hackers. And here to talk about that is Matt Graber. How are you, Matt? Pretty good, Darren. How are you? I'm doing really, really well. I'm uh, loving this ShamuCon. This is a great year. Uh, now, tell me, uh, exploit-monday.com, that's the blog where people can go and find your tool, Power Syringe. What's Power Syringe? So Power Syringe is kind of an attack framework, almost based entirely within PowerShell to what it does primarily is code or DLL injection. So give it whatever payload you want to execute, either locally or in a remote process, and it'll execute that entirely within memory. Now, there's already a bunch of tools to do uh, DLL injection. Why use the PowerShell? Well, it's great because you don't have to drop an executable on your target machine. So it's built into uh, most versions of Windows now, as you said, uh, installed by default, Windows 7, uh, Server 2008 R2. So it's just a great platform in general to execute code from without dropping a binary on the target. <coughs> and, and so what is, is this like a script file? How do you, add, give me an example of like how you would actually deploy this. Sure, so yeah, it's, it's just a basic uh, PS1 script, although with PowerShell, it does have something called an, called an execution policy, which uh, says whether or not you're allowed to execute those scripts. Well, it's trivial to bypass that. So. Oh, really? So, so privilege escalation and all that stuff kind of taken care of with this? Um, yeah. Well, as far as executing the script is concerned. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, it's, it's trivial to bypass that. So if PowerShell is installed and you have code that you want to run within the context of PowerShell, you can always do it, so it's great. And so what kind of features does uh, this Power Syringe add? Sure, so at the core, it will execute uh, native assembly instructions in either 32- uh, or 64-bit. So you can set one option to run your shellcode within the context of PowerShell itself, or you could give it the PID of another process to execute that code, say, um, interpreter uh, payload that you generated uh, with uh, MSF payload, right? So you could just feed that in, copy and paste the output from MSF payload, drop it into Power Syringe, and execute it within PowerShell or another process. Uh, it also has uh, DLL injection capabilities. It's pretty basic. It's it, it's nothing. Uh, it's it's not nearly as advanced as the the reflective DLL injection that say. Uh, interpreter uses, but it, it, it works. Hey, and it's done all through PowerShell, so that's really beautiful. You were even saying that you were able to get PowerShell to, I guess, since it's, it will do C Sharp and, and .NET and all that other fun stuff, you, uh, you can get it to do encryption right there in the shell script? Exactly. So, yeah, it has a pretty basic encryption function. So uh, whatever script file you want to en encrypt, uh, all you do is you give the path to the file, a uh, password, and a salt value, and it'll encrypt everything, uh, and it will save out to another PowerShell script. So uh, the idea for me was I would take the script, the Power Syringe script itself, run it through its own encrypt command, and then it would output the encrypted uh, Power Syringe uh, script. So what you would do to execute it on, on your target is just you, you just provide it the uh, password and the salt value, and then it decrypts everything in memory, and then you can execute it as if it was never, never encrypted. I'm sure the forensics investigators are going to love that one, especially like a lot of this sounds like it's just resident memory you reboot. It's not there. Exactly. So if you were going to actually have to drop something onto the target, ideally you would want to run it through the encrypt function first and then drop the script on, on that machine. And then that's, that's all that's ever going to be found is just garbled junk. So I love it. Well, Power Syringe sounds like an awesome framework, especially for you know, all these Windows 7s and Server 2008 R2 hosts now. Uh, where can people find it? Where can people download it? Is it open source? Can they get their hands on it and start making modifications? Yeah, absolutely. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, it's 
for public consumption. I would love to have people uh, send me feature requests, add features to it. Uh, you can find it at exploit-monday.com and go download it now. Awesome. Thank you so much, Matt. Yeah, thanks for having me. Only suckers pay full price, but if you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but hey, wasting all your cash on them, listen up, because you can score these premium brands at up to 80% off every day. You see, there's a new invite-only shopping club just for guys called Jack Threads, surfing up skates, street, surfwear brands at prices that'll melt your brain. And there's usually a waiting list to join, but if you head over to jackthreads.com slash hack5, you're going to get an instant access to their killer hookups. So go on over now. Oh, and did we mention that it's free to join? That's right. Hit up jackthreads.com slash hack5, and you'll instantly start saving without even to leave your house. No fireball in the sky that burns like the lava in Metroid. It'll just be like, boom, savings right there where you are.